Ladies and gentlemen, well, firstly, welcome back home. I see so many familiar faces, so it's a pleasure that you, you're coming and coming back, and now we're celebrating the fifth Agri-Food Forum. It's nice that I see as well the new faces, so welcome for the first time, and I do hope that you will remember this day, not for a couple of minutes, but maybe weeks and even the years. And uh, as you see today, I dressed casual, because I want to talk in, in simple words, not, you know, making big political dramas. And uh, within the first 100 minutes, when the, the welcoming speeches were taking the place and, and the high-level panel discussion was here, I was doing some calculation, practical one. I tried to calculate how many times the word impact and the word sustainability was mentioned. So approximate stats, give it or take a couple of percent, is that the sustainability word within the 100 minutes was used about 35 times, when the word impact was used about 30 times. Now, since pretty much I know everyone here in the hall, uh, you all are the biggest influencers, the representatives of the biggest organizations, authorities, governments, universities and academia. So technically speaking, you are the gurus and the most biggest professionals of the understanding what is sustainability as the first. So I will kick off and start by having a short survey or voting. Those who don't like to vote, leave the hall, come back in about 18 minutes when I will be finishing my talk. And those who will still remain, the rules are super simple. If you will agree to the question which will be shown in the screen, you're raising the hand. If you don't agree, you remain as you are now, most of you watching and reading your phones when you're supposed to listen to me. Yes, so ladies and gentlemen, the professionals of sustainability, the simplest question about it in your life is following. What do you think? Is sex sustainable? It might be that they made a mistake and came, came to different event, you know, maybe it's underage event. Maybe I should ask, did we try sex at least once in a life? If not, I do apologize, maybe that question was too rude. Statistically wise, about 40% of the hands I've seen raised. So 40% of people think that sex is sustainable. 60% of the people think that it's not. Firstly, if you like sustainability but you think sex is not, stop doing that, it's to start with. Secondly, 40, 60, but the 100% of the people faces we're looking to the screen or to myself with some kind of unconvenient emotion. Ladies and gentlemen, then I'm asking you, if you're using the word sustainability hundreds of times per day when you're talking about supply chain, resilient, food, agri, energy, manufacturing and products, why you are so inconvenient when I'm asking about your personal intimate life and why you cannot merge the word which is now super hyped with what you are doing behind the locked door with, well, traditionally with one partner, as it was before. Now we are shifting, as people are saying. And if you, are not, if you cannot apply the word in your personal life, you are doing the fake. I do apologize for that in your business. Me personally, I, I think sex is super sustainable. Environmental and planet-wise, we are reproducing our population, so to, you know, to continue the human beings living. Socially-wise, having the sex, you know, we can find new friends, we can start a family, or we can change to new family. It depends on the living cycle. And economically-wise, I mean, to be fair, you know, sex for the money is one of the oldest profession in our history, for males and females both. I'm not discriminating. So this is the remark to start about the sustainability. Now you like the word impact as well, right? It was a lot talks today in the high level panel about the poetry, what we are having and facing now in the, in the life. Do you know the stats? Can, I, let me remind you, more than two bills people are living less than a euro budget per day. I'm sorry, more than one. Two billion people are living on a less than two euro per day budget. If to calculate percentage-wise, we are talking about 40% of 
of human being creatures in the planet. To make a little bit more drama, yesterday I asked my team and, and Christina's team uh, to calculate because, you know, a lot of you were invited today to come for the dinner. We are hosting the dinner, so we know the bills. So in average, the dinner will be costing today about 200 euro per person. We are inviting about 100 people. So it's 20k euro to spend, to enjoy, to discuss within a couple of hours, right? Now, what means 20k euro? To some it's a lot, to some it's not. 20,000 euro could sustain the poor, poor, below one euro, life for 40, for 54 years. The wealthier population, we could sustain out of 20k euro, 27 years. If you want more drama, let's consider the family of four. Husband, wife, nice cute daughter and a son. 20k would allow them to live, the poor poor, below one euro, 13 years in our planet. And the wealthier ones would be able to live six years. When I'm saying, I'm not saying that this is what we are doing and spending a couple of hundreds euro per, per dinner, it's wrong, it's right. I will be saluting the glass today with you and I will be welcoming you there. But please, let me remind you that when you are talking about the impact, you need to carry the responsibility of what actually you are saying. And if you actually are doing the impact, remember those, you know, small percentage of 40% of the population. And if you are not tackling them, what kind of impact you are talking about? The impact what we are making here in the hall. I, I do apologize, it's bullshit. Now, to make a little bit down the emotions, I want to recap because anyway, I see some new faces and to remind to those who are coming to Agribusiness Forum for quite a long time, how we started. So this is the fifth forum, uh, 2019, the same hall. We were talking about that Lithuania could be a sandbox for the digital tech and digital agri-tech, uh, as Christina was mentioning here today as well. And I think the ecosystem has been built within those five years up till now. Then 2020, Corona started and the world invented the, invented the red button, which is called stop. We stopped traveling, we stopped interfering each other. We invented absolutely different ways. Even here, all the guests who are sitting, I think we are having about 1,000 and a half or 2,000 people we are streaming to the conference. So, you know, digital went to absolutely different level. And we were talking how we all together could strive, you know. Then 2021, we managed to handle the crisis, we managed to handle the corona, and then we already started to take care about the planet and sustainability and what kind of impact we can do to sustainability. Those words I promise I'm using today the last time. And, and, and the discussion was about that, yes, uh, we care about the planet, we care about the environment, but we are living in the society which is based on economical models. So we need to find the balance and scale up environmental to financial sustainability. So this is what the priorities were year back. And 2022, the war started. I think it was the most saddest forum in the heart, mentally, to everyone last year. And then I was talking that we, as the networks, we are the biggest army who could tackle up the agri-food industry. And we, representing our networks and joining forces together, we can make sustainable impact. Here you go, I'm repeating those two bad words a second time. And randomly by accident, two weeks ago, I was walking somewhere in my office and I see one of the staff members, he was, you know, looking at the screen and the muscle pyramid was open, which I was thinking about, I don't know, 15 years back. And you remember that Maslow has five layers of needs in the life. And then I was walking back to my conference hall and I thought, okay, so Maslow has five layers and this is the fifth forum the AgriFood Forum, what we're having. And because I had like spare five minutes, I decided to try to merge the topics, what we started from 2019 to where we are going now. Absolutely random game to myself I decided to play. <laughs> and it matched and it was not planned because 19, we were talking that we need to have the fundament to build the ecosystem. So it's survival by the Maslow. On 20, we were talking how we can survive and, and to remain healthy and safe. Maslow is talking about the same thing. 
Then the third la layer is talking about the love and caring. When we were discussing 2021 about the planet, how we can treat our planet better, alliance. Then the fourth level is saying that we need other people and the other people needs us to make the bigger impact, aligned. We talked about the networks and the army of networks. And, and now it's a tricky thing because technically today we are at the last layer. Maslow don't have more. So God knows what we're going to do the next year. But for sure, today is the day when we can together talk about what kind of impact we can do by understanding each other. And this is a very important thing. Now, before going to, to make some remarks and advices from my side, uh, you know, for the past half of the year, I was thinking that something is wrong. Even the way how I'm defining my business and my activities. And uh, I came up to an idea, an example, to our human body as the whole. And you know, nowadays, we can replace most of the organs. You implant the new ones, right? We can change kidneys, livers, this, that. And most of the cases, these organs might function as themselves even better than it was before. But when we are talking about the whole as the body, the question is how the system reacts to the alien which comes. The same as we can, I think, put the implants in each of the body parts what we are having. And it might be, you know, looking a little bit more attractive, but the way how the whole, the body, will react to it. So I think that what we are doing when we are talking about the agri-food from all the angles we are tackling, because we are very, very different here, we are forgetting to look at the whole. The whole is planet. And we are keeping, by the way, the planet somewhere behind, but not in the front. I would believe that if we are so sustainable and righteous to do the impact decisions, we need to keep the planet's picture in front of us and to understand that backwards, our industry, what we represent, firstly, needs to sustain the whole. The whole is more important than what we do as the personalities or the organizations. Other thing what I would like to advise and to remind you is that I don't know how many nationalities we are having now in the room, so to say 15 to 20, right? Those who traveled in Asia, definitely you know the, the saying, Asians love it, it's same, same, but different. And uh, they are using that every single day, each five minutes, the same as Europeans now are using the word sustainability, whether we need that or not, but it's cool to talk about it. But what I actually want to say about the saying is that we are so different, even though talking the same language, but we mean absolutely different things. Few examples from my personal life, so we understand that I really believe in that. When I was in Cambodia with my business partners, they invited me to have a social dinner, which is cool, we do that in Europe as well, right? And we went to a nice fine dining restaurant, but instead of having a steak, we were eating the bugs and worms. So technically, the understanding of social dinner is the same story, but the meals are a little bit different. Similar example is when I was in China, again with my business partners, they invited me to go to the bar. Now, how Europeans define the bar? The pub, the wine bar, the cocktail bar, right? And they brought me to karaoke bar in Shenzhen. If you know what it means, it's half-naked ladies and you know, respectful women are walking everywhere. I'm saying, mates, I didn't ask to go to strip club. Let's, we, I wanted to go to the bar. And they're saying, no, 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 it's a bar. This is the way how we drink, you know? So understanding that we are going to the bar is the same, but the way that the environment is structured is a little bit different. And the last example which really tackled me when I was kite surfing in Colombia with the Colombiano guys in Cartagena, same guys, kiteboarding shorts, enjoying the waves, enjoying the weather, the wind and stuff like that. And one day they invited me to go to the concert because some kind of band was coming to Cartagena. And they picked me up from the hotel at night by having a 10 cars escort, fully armed. So what I want to say is that the daytime, they are same, same kite borders, but nighttime, they are the members of Cartel, which is one of the most efficient management logistics supply chain in the world, right? So please bear and keep in mind that even today, we will talk about the same things in the panel discussions, which is going to be super interesting. Remember that we are absolutely different. And, and even the wording, what we are using, maybe it might be the same, but the meaning is absolutely different. And few examples and remarks to conclude from my side. Do you know the guy? Someone knows it. 
Uh, it's Mr. Tyler. He is a Sydney guy from Australia, 73 years. Actual guy, like really, he's living. And he was following very closely the climate neutrality topic to 2050. This is a true story. It was mentioned in the United Nations. And he said that I believe so much in, in the long-term goal of 2050, and he stated and made official promise that he will stop drinking by 2050. But he tranquilled his friends and said, listen, it's not short to medium term shift. I will continue drinking for upcoming 29 years. And when it's going to be 2049, slowly I will try to decrease the amounts of consumption of alcohol. Now, cool guy, I mean respect, <laughs> total. But where I'm heading is that think of rhetorically, don't, don't answer me now. When we are talking about the KPIs, sustainability goals, net zeroing, climate neutrality, ask yourselves, what the hell you've done today to achieve those long-lasting goals? And if you're not, stop talking about it. The talks will not make any change. Do something. Or if not, don't pretend that you are doing the impact. It's wrong. It's crime. The locality aspect, I'm, I would say it's really important. And local, it's different. Because for the small farmer, local understanding is his village and the farmlands, what he is cultivating, you know, to grow something. For the director of United Nations, local is a little bit broader definition. And I think that locality, when we are talking about the impact we are forgetting, when we are sitting in nice venues, city halls, or the offices, and thinking that for us, the decision is going to be worldwide. It's wrong. Now, a lot of startups coming to me, uh, asking to, you know, for the investments, and they're saying, we are doing this and that technology, which dramatically going to so change soils, health to the better. I'm saying, mate, in Germany or in Sahara Desert, the soil type is a little bit different. So locality is important. Where now all the Europeans are fighting about illegal deforestation, 2021 to 2022, in Amazon, they illegally chopped timber by the size of Qatar. I'm not sure, have you been in Qatar? I've been. It's quite a big country, you know? So the locality again, the question, do we solve the problem where this, the problem appears and exists? And we forget that. Everyone now is shouting, if you want to be popular, you need to shout as well, that you're going to preserve and save the marine life, underwater life. And then on the other hand, we are building the sea wind plants and wind farms by destroying the local ecosystem with the vibration, with the metals, with the construction of those wind farms. So we are good or bad. I mean, talk less, do more. Almost last thing is, uh, you know, I think that uh, in Egypt, every single year, sharks kill people. It's kind of tradition, Egyptian. Or at least, you know, chops the, bites the arm or leg. And do you know why they do that? They do that because the tourists are going to different kinds of resorts in Egypt and they, they feed. They pet the sharks because they want to take the picture of them. They want to see how they are playing around in the water. The problem is that because of seasonality or because other countries are becoming more hot, you know, places to go, there are less tourists coming at certain phases of the year but the sharks remains there. And then when we are stopping feeding the shark, they start to, you know, be more proactive. And sometimes the swimmers, swimmers becomes those who, you know, feed the sharks. So it's our problem. Now, I think that the crime, what we are doing, actually the crime, I'm talking about private investors, I'm talking about venture capital, private capital, NGOs, digital innovation hubs, business organizations, paying authorities and governments, is that we are spoiling the ecosystem by floating the money to them to showcase. As the people are feeding the sharks, or as you know, during the circus, we are giving some food for the monkey to dance. If monkey dance, we give more something, the candies. So for technological companies and startups, we are treating them as the monkeys. We don't want that the monkey would learn something and, and you know, develop itself. We're just you know, giving bite by bite, piece by piece, 
to do some kind of actuation. And this is what we are requiring and demanding from the startups which we are financing. I am from private cap, governmental authorities, from public money, tax authorities, so technically from all of you. We forgot to ask the startups and technological companies the adoption and the results. And what we are actually doing is throwing away the money to see how they were performing and to see the action plan. I was telling yesterday the story uh, during the dinner is that one of the VC fund where I invested the money, they sent me quarterly report. You know what they mentioned there? That the VC, true story, VC partners have been traveling to 25 events per the last quarter. I mean, do you think I care where they've been and what they were doing? Tell me the multiplier on my cash. I don't give a damn what you do. You can dance entire three months or kiteboard in, in Caribbean. We now put on the piedestal the actuation instead of the results. Guys, remember, it's a big problem. And it's a crime because then all the startups will forget that they need to actually deliver something to the market. They will just dance, take the money. It's a crime. Maybe a prosecutor would, didn't agree with me, but in my opinion, it's economical crime. And to wrap up, uh, do we really remember from where, where all the sustainability goals and climate neutrality goals are coming? Because in most of the cases, the, the strategy is being followed by the adopted regulations, Z, which were created by the working group Y, and sometimes it's that big spiral that we forget why we believe in some kind of buzzwords and the goals. What I loved, and you remember the, the video when the young boy was, uh, you know, planting the trees, but then again he was talking about the, the importance to the climate. So what do you think makes more sense? To, to put him in a class and do 10 classes by explaining the climate neutrality goals, or to bring the young kids to the forest and say, listen, plant the tree, it's gonna be better, in short. So my advice, and I think that stop, talk, smart. Talk meaningful. Say better five words, but commit on your own blood, on your own reputation, that you're gonna do that. And to wrap up, I think that uh, Agri-Food Forum is wrong name. From the next year, we'll move more to the Food Forum than Planet Forum. The planet is more important than the Agri-Food. So let's not cut small part of it. I really, you know, when I'm preparing the keynotes for, the, for this specific forum, I'm not looking at the chance. I don't care what people are thinking. I always look at the mirror and ask myself what I don't like about myself. So, so this keynote and this speech was what I don't like about myself, not you. I just do hope that maybe some of the facts and some of the thoughts will encourage you to be more practical, to talk less, but to do a little bit more. Thank you so much.